What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome everyone to another video on the channel and welcome to Forza Horizon 4, a brand new car. Now really quick before the video continues, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been uh, subscribed to the channel. If you guys are new here and you enjoy the content, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I'm, I was trying to reach 250,000 subscribers before the end here. Technically, I was trying to reach 200,000 and like everybody on the channel absolutely, like my channel pretty much exploded and loads of people started subscribing. So we absolutely beat the goal that I wanted to get to. Um, but then I set a new goal, well, somebody set a new goal for 250,000 subscribers, obviously that's not gonna happen, but still, I wanna thank you guys again for subscribing to the channel, and also, I wanna thank you guys for following the subreddit, I've made a subreddit recently, and, um, I, uh, pretty much shouted it out in the previous video, I definitely recommend you guys check it out, I think we're at, like, 420 members right now, which is sick, um, it, it, it just grew really, really quickly, so that's kinda cool, but, uh, yeah, I, I really do hope that you guys are gonna have a good time over on the Reddit. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description box below where you guys can check it out. Anyway, enough of me babbling. Let's actually play with this little car. This little Fiat X19. Now this is such a cool little car. I actually really like these. I think I've maybe seen one of these ever once on the road. Um, and I'm pretty sure this was at a classic car show as well. That's why I've seen it. Obviously designed by Bertone. Um, that's probably not how you say that name. Or maybe it is. I don't know. It is Italian. Anyway, uh, it's a sick little car. Obviously, the engine is right there. But, but, it's also rear-wheel drive. Uh, it's also really, really short. It's pretty much a very good, uh, I don't know, a very good base to build something crazy out of. Which is what I'm going to try to do in today's video. So, this thing completely stock right now. Uh, I forgot to change cars and I go to this. It has 61 horsepower and it weighs 1,000 and I'll just say 1,000 kilos. It weighs 1,000 kilos. Now, of course, um, this thing has the potential to be fast, but stock, it's not fast. However, I think we can do some stuff to it to make it a lot quicker. There's many different variations of this car. People are turning this thing, uh, people turning this thing into either rally cars or just race cars in general. So, this has, like I said, it's the pedigree's there. Like people have done crazy things to cars like this um, over the years, and it sounds really good with the standard engine. It sounds like an old rally car, like or an old race cars, or old race cars on carbs. Actually, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's only got a little, little 1.3 liter as well. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool little car. Now driving this thing stock, as you can see, it's not really a thrill. Feels slow, because it is slow. It's very loud, but it is slow. I don't know what the top seat of this thing is. It just reached... Oh, I just... Did he spawn there? I swear he just spawned there. I was literally not paying attention to where I was driving at all. I was just... I was just looking at the speedo to try to see how fast it accelerates. This thing is faster than me! The AI car is so much faster than I am. Man, you have to relax. I'm trying to, trying to get to the speed limit here. <laughs> He's keeping up with me. So yeah, as you can see, it's, it's very, very slow. I wonder what sort of engine swaps we can have for this thing. Because I want to get it to be really, really fast. Um, let's jump over to the festival and see. I'm not going to go ahead and drift it. I, I can't be bothered to drift this thing. However, I do want to try and get it to be a lot faster than what it is now. So we'll see what sort of engine softs are available for it. Uh, I think we can, yeah, we can have drift suspension on it, which I'll probably put uh, race suspension on it, to be completely honest. I don't really want drift suspension. And then obviously everything else, getting rid of the weight and all that, is all good. What if I just put a turbo on this engine that we have now? It'll make 82 horsepower, or a supercharger 74. Our torque goes up, obviously, by quite a bit. Um, but then, obviously, after upgrading everything, it's going to be even faster. So, all we have is just the rally engine, the 1.6 liter uh, rally engine. I kind of don't want to use it. I know it's going to be much faster, and I know it's lighter and all that stuff. I know it's going to be very quick with this in it. It's also not going to weigh a lot, either. But I kind of want to keep the engine that's in it now. And then just upgrade it. How much power can we squeeze out with the standard engine? Come on. Can we get to 300 horsepower? That is the goal here. 247, maybe not. 255. 262 horsepower. And the car only weighs 
1,030 kilos. And obviously, with all the extra bits and pieces taken off it, when we're doing our lightweight stuff here, lightweight additions, especially with the race, um, race parts added onto it, and then obviously, the weight reduction, 860 kilos. It's a good little car. I definitely don't want to change the powertrain either. I want to leave it the uh, uh, to be like just mid-engine rear-wheel drive. I think that's that's nice. I'll put race tires on it. Um, I will also make the wheels wider because this thing is lacking some grip here. Uh, as for the wheels, I'm going to leave them as they are just for the moment. Oh my god, there's like a big difference. I'll bring them to the first the first uh, step to make them wider. I'm not going to make them, <laughs> or not wider, but like the track width to widen it. I'm just going to keep it to like the first, the first uh, bit selected. I don't want it to be way too wide. It just doesn't look good. Uh, it just reminds me of a Stratos so much. It just reminds me of a Lancia Stratos. As for our wheels, there's only like a few wheels that would actually suit this thing quite a lot. We could go full Japanese spec. Put some Jap wheels on it. But I don't think that would look good. Again, simple. Maybe some Mickey Thompson wheels. I don't know. I still want it to look sort of classic-y. If you get what I mean. I don't want it to be... Like, I want it to be more modern looking, but I don't want it to have, like, modern modern wheels. I, I don't know if that makes sense. I still want it to have a classic look to the wheels. So, yeah. There are some that would suit this. Like, even rotor forms. I'd probably put, like, these rotor forms on it. They look sick. Obviously, I'd probably put these on, like, a Porsche or something. But I kind of like the deep dish in them. I don't know. They, they look kind of sick. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll go with these. Why not? Um, and then for the wheel size, well, I'm just going to go with like one step higher, which we're going from 13 inches to 14 inches. I still want it, like I said, to retain the classic look to it. That's why I don't want to do crazy things to it. Yeah. So just having it be like a little bit lower, track width a little wider, and then have those wheels. I think that's, that's kind of cool. Um, I'll drive it with this engine just for the moment, and then I think I'll swap it over to the... Uh, the rally engine. It's an S1 already. Um, just the way it is now. I'm gonna guess it's gonna handle quite well. Especially since it is mid-engine. So I think it'll be... It'll be nice to drive now. Oh, I really like it. Oh, it's so agile. This is the power I should have had. Oh my god, I love this thing. A little sideways as well. Oh, I went off. That's okay. Oh, I love these gear ratios as well. They're so quick. I genuinely really like this thing. Oh my god, it drives so well. No tune on it or anything. I just like sort of upgraded it. Oh, there it goes. I knew I was going to lose it at some point. It's so sick to drive with this amount of power. I really like driving this thing um, in like cockpit view. I much prefer it than driving it with like exterior view. It's like it's just one of those cars. I feel like I'm in so much more control, and I love it when some cars like that I tune or whatever or that I upgrade. I don't put like the most amount of horsepower into them. I hope that the little pop up headlights are up. It feels like a little street rally car. Oh my god, it's so nice to drive.
and it's it's little and agile. It just throw it at the corners, and then you can just control the slide on the way out. The noise just points. Uh, po I can't even speak. The noise just points wherever you wanted it to. If you just control your throttle a little bit. You can send it sideways and everything. Oh my god, it's such a cool little car. I genuinely really like this thing. You definitely don't need a huge amount of power to have fun in this game with, with a car. Just put yourself in cockpit view, turn assists off, and then just have so much fun with a car like this. I love it. I genuinely do. I love this thing. I love the paint as well. That's why I didn't even go to try and change the paint on this thing. I love it's like so Italian. It's outrageous. It's green. And then with this tune or with the upgrades, it's it's quick. I highly recommend you guys try this out yourselves. Like I said, this is a new car added into the game. I'll show you guys really quick now. Uh, how to get it. If you go into the festival playlist, it is this race right here, a Barth on the Hearth, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's over in Edinburgh City. So if you go over here and you do this, uh, is this it? Or am I an idiot? And that's not it. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. It, it does say it's the seasonal championship. It is, it is this one. Um, and then you just do the three races. And that's it. It's it's really nice. It's really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, of course, subscribe. Keep up to date with all the videos. Like this video if you enjoyed it as well. Comment down below whatever else you guys want to see on the channel. If there's anything specific. And, uh, and give me some ideas, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, and also don't forget to go visit my subreddit. Because it's actually popping off to so many people now on it that are posting loads of memes and things like that on it so i definitely recommend it's it's a good time it's a good time anyway um but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys again very much for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye